So I'm at the office with my new PC setup. It is the middle of a very hot summer's day and I've blacked out all the windows with cardboard and things. So the only light in this room is my PC screen. Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. She's lying. She's blatantly lying. If she isn't lying, then this would be amazing. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? Oh, fuck. Anxious to see you. You'd better come to the... Nightingale was that guy who was evil. Or drunk or something. I can't remember what it was, but the manuscript said he was bad. Help you folks. Name's Randolph. Hello. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? Me. I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. Don't look so dopey, Barry. Nice girl. Jesus. You say she's a nice girl quite a lot. All sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and get this. What? Most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Oh great. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. What? I'm the god-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Oh good. Okay. Glad to hear. There was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer. But I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane I could. I found all those, um, those books. All those books. I forgot the word. ...under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Oh, great. Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. What? But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Come no on, shit. I completely didn't notice it before. I thought someone had just parked a boat. I don't even know what I thought, to be honest, actually. There's quite a bit of crap just dumped around here. Like Randy's dogs. It's not open. Dog. Hey, dog. Granny Claws Clam Clowder. Chowder, not Clowder. I'm guessing we're going this way. Because we've got nowhere else to go. Bo oh, I thought I could open it. I was going to go boom. Power of my body. Oh. It gets better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. You have got a limp on you, haven't you? You must be a war vet. I know that's probably me assuming by the combat trousers, but either that or it was a bear trap. I'm just getting to the best part. What? All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady. She's not a bag lady. She's quite clever. She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or Yeah. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane but... before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Sorry, what were you saying? Breakdown? Okay. Rose Marigold. Sunflowers. Do -do 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 oh my god, I'm actually... Oh, I'm not breaking them. Well, mister... That's what I was. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair, mate, you should have asked that before you took us to her house. Now we know where she lives. And that's a trip hazard and a half. Hello. I'm just gonna stand back a little bit. Welcome to. Ah. To. Oh dear. It's a bit of darkness. Hello? 
I'm so glad you're here. W what is that? Through that door? Oh. Oh, yes. Please come yes. in. Please I don't want in. to come in. I don't have a choice. Now I'm drinking coffee. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Ah. Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh, she's drunk the coffee. Bitch. No, she's not your fault, is it? It's the presence or whatever it's called. What? That's a bit creepy. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. My barber's? Thomas? Same? Is that you? Ah! I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. Ah! I insist. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Oh, which lights? Turn the light on. Oh my god. Ah. Oh my. What is this? Is this The Sims? I don't think I've seen that wallpaper outside of The Sims. Ugh. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept Ugh. me going. Well, I can't tell reality from There's dream Barry. Anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The oh editor is very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Oh, it's like the yellow wallpaper. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. <sighs> but no. What is that? Was she a kid? Whoa. Hello. Um. What the hell is this? Why don't I look that good? Normally. That's ridiculous. That looks amazing and my CGI face looks shit. But it's also quite spooky because that's like a little shrine to me so I'm leaving. Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Cooking with corn. 72 tasty recipes. Mm. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Yeah. Oh, he's there? fucked as well. I'm leaving. I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. Get to the car. Now you will notice uh, in this playthrough for a little bit that the pages are not new, they have been read and the reason why is because Lewis has basically played a little bit of the game so the pages obviously save as a pickup and I'm just sort of going back on that so I'm not actually going to look at any of the pages because obviously I've unlocked additional ones before I sh I'm supposed to get them in the game so uh, just, just ignore them and you're not seeing any pages for a while as a result sorry This is really weird. Shouldn't there be the Taken somewhere? Oh. Hello, Randolph. Oh, you're gonna get it now. What? <laughs> but I didn't do anything. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. What? This is Agent Nightingale, FBI! Get him up, Hemingway! You're under arrest! I'm called Alan Wake, not Hemingway. He is crazy. I'm leaving. What is this, the Matrix? 
It's like we're in a Bond film. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac! Right, Alan. We need to leave. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Okay, let's go. Run, 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 run. Can't see any manuscript pages. I don't really want to wait to find out. You're doing quite well on the running. I oh no. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. I was expecting too much of you to run for ages. You're struggling, aren't you? Oh Christ. Oh, come on. I know it's a hill. I know you're getting old and tired, but we kind of have to run or we're going to die. Or get captured. There he goes. <sighs> okay. Okay. Oh, flip. Okay. Uh oh. Run. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god, I'm being shot at. Run. Come on, wake. Wow, that. <laughs> They're easily fooled. Jesus Christ. Okay, up here. Come on, Wake. Come on, Alan. Ah, <gasps> there's a page. Oof. What's this page? I love how sometimes he just won't run. He just like sticks and refuses to do anything. Um, it's all going a little bit weird. Whoa! Fuck. Um. Sorry, we're going against that. Oh my! What? It's a page. It's a page down here. It's a rather efficient way of making sure I only go one way. Keep running. Come on. Oh, there we go. I've healed from my gunshot wound. I'm like Wolverine. Oh dear. Search the area. God, there's some men down there with torches. Oh my god. This way. What are they doing? Over here. Whoa. What? You can't shoot a tree, it doesn't do anything. Like, uh, oh my good god. Um, I think I think they're all dead. Oh dear. This horror was everywhere I went. Circling. God, I'm so sorry. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a rider. Hiking a trail, foot traffic only. Well, I hope so. You're not going to drive a car over that, are you? Fairly obvious uh, sign. Another car. He's crazy. Crazier than, I don't know. I'm just going to keep running. Uh oh, there's a helicopter. Where is it? Ooh. Oof. Good grief. You on the ground. Whoa. Hold it right there. There's no other Oh god, the birds. Oh my god, the birds saved me. 
sort of. I guess we know why you don't have birds on the airstrip when you're trying to take off. Um, whoa! That's a big explosion. Goddamn birds. Come on, wake. Oh, I'm stuck on a bit of a thing there. What the he Oh. Oh my god. That's abandoned, whatever that is. And there's nothing in there but radio. I can't be asked for the radio. Oh. I could see the lights at the radio station in the distance. Alright, I guess we're making for there then. Uh... Oh. You do make a fuss, Alan. Right. I imagine that the broadcast tower in the distance was part of the local radio station. Yep. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. Whilst I'm like on the run from the police, sure. 